Today we're going to be sharing with you our top 10 favorite spots in Acadia National Park. All right, we're gonna kick this off with Sand Beach. We love this area of Acadia National Park. Most of the park is rocky shoreline, and so to have access to a sandy area where you can actually go swimming if you're brave enough to tackle the cold water, which my kids were not on this day, it was pretty cold, uh, but it was absolutely beautiful. You can search the rock formations for little tide pools, you can see the shoreline hitting the rocky coast, but there's also a huge crescent sand beach for you to explore. It's a definite don't miss in Acadia National Park. All right, next up is to go hike the Wonderland Trail. It's a really easy flat hike, especially for kids. The day we did it, it was really hot and humid, uh, but it was totally worth it when you make it to the end. Those views are incredible. We loved just hiking around the shoreline once we got there. If you're gonna go to Wonderland, we recommend packing a picnic and hitting the seawall on your way there or after you're done hiking. It's really easy access to these picnic tables that just offer the most incredible views. Thunder Hole is another really great spot in Acadia National Park. It's really popular. It's an easy walk down. I wouldn't even call it a hike. There's a lot of information posted down there telling you what to look for and uh, what happens there. It's a formation in the rocks that when the waves hit it just the right way, it will make a loud thunder noise. There are times you hear an echo. That's not it. If you hear it, you know you hear it. We spent about 45 minutes down there waiting to hear it and we didn't. We were kind of disappointed, so we left and then a couple of us heard it in the parking lot. When you hear it, you know it is very, very loud. But you have to go when the tide is just right and it's just a luck thing. The Scudo Peninsula is a part of Acadia National Park that is not actually on Mount Desert Island. It's about a 45 minute drive and I would highly encourage you to make the drive over there. It's totally worth it. It was like a playground for our family. We loved this area and it's part of the Acadia National Park that most people don't venture over and visit. And so if you have a day where you wanna avoid the crowds, this is a really great spot to go. In fact, we even saw bald eagles while we were there. Next up is the Schooner Head Overlook. This is a really easy hike down to a cliff area and we highly recommend this hike even if you have little ones we wore our youngest while we were there uh, but there's kind of a flat area at the top where you can stand and it's pretty safe as long as you keep them close to you and then you can venture down further on to the rocks and um, past the little cliff area and it's just incredible it was absolutely beautiful next up we highly suggest you hike across bar harbor at low tide the tide goes out and you can go out there and explore all the tide pools and go from the little town of Bar Harbor over to the island. My kids really love this. A couple of things to keep in mind though, it is pretty rocky and can get kind of mucky in some areas, so you wanna wear good shoes. And you also really wanna keep an eye on that tide because it's a hefty fun for them to come rescue you from the island if the tide comes in when you're not paying attention. Sur de Mons is a really easy hike. It's a loop. The first half is on a boardwalk. The second half is just a gravel pathway. There's a great little nature center in there with really, really great rangers who have a lot of information and are more than happy to share it with you. We loved this stop. It was absolutely beautiful. We definitely recommend bringing the bug spray though because the bugs can get pretty bad because there's sometimes some standing water in this area. Uh, but this is a great hike for kids to connect with nature. There's a, also a really beautiful garden area in the front of the nature center that we highly recommend walking through. It was really, really beautiful. If you're going to Acadia National Park, you don't want to miss Jordan Pond. This is one of our all-time favorites. It's a really easy hike around the lake. We didn't even do the whole thing. We just went to several viewpoints because we were kind of tired from all of our other hikes but you have some amazing views of the bubbles, as they call them, and there were a lot of great little spots to stop and explore. Cadillac Mountain, I think this is our all-time favorite in Acadia National Park, and when we are there, we usually go several times. The drive up is beautiful, the views once you get up there are beautiful, there are so many things to see and do up there, 
just the hiking and we also love to do the ranger program that's called Hawk Watch while we're up there. They have a program in the fall where you can go up there with a ranger and watch and count the different birds that are migrating. And my kids love birding, so this is right up their alley. They absolutely loved this program in Acadia. You can just go and hang out with the rangers while they do this. But really, the most incredible thing to do on Cadillac Mountain is to head up there at the crack of dawn to see the sunrise. It's one of the most incredible things we've seen in our four years on the road. You can see the little town of Bar Harbor below. You can watch the sunrise, which is the very first rays of light all the way across the eastern seaboard. You're the first one to see the sunrise that day. And it's just an incredibly beautiful experience and something I wish every person could see at least once in their lives. It can be really windy. It can be really cold up there. Uh, and it's a really early, early morning. It was a little bit painful and really, really beautiful. And we highly recommend you make the time to go up and have this adventure while you're in Acadia National Park. We hope this list of our favorite spots in Acadia National Park is helpful to you. We would love it if you would like, comment, subscribe. Stay tuned for our next video where we head to the White Mountains of New Hampshire.